Now, if the one photo didn't get you excited of the set that leaked, you guys are really in for a treat. Let's take a look. What up you guys, it's Ryan, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be doing a full breakdown of the Daily Beagle set. This set, I am being honest, looks absolutely amazing and worth every penny of $300. I, now that we got every photo and I was like, just briefly looking at it um, before we jump into this, like the whole thing together, I am blown away by this set. And I am hoping to see more sets like this in the future with Lego, but regardless, I haven't looked through all these photos yet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just throw my binoculars on, my, uh, my binoculars because I'm blind. Um, and I'm gonna look at the set with you guys. We're gonna break it all down. I got all the character list names and everything. So let's jump into it. All right guys, so let's take a look at the set. This is the Daily Bugle, which you guys already know, but we'll just do it again. The set is 76178, 1,950 VIP points, 300 or 3,772 pieces, ages 18 and up, and it's gonna be $300. So this is gonna be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait cannot wait. It is coming out the 26th of this month. So May 26th, if you're a VIP member, which all you got to do is sign up for their, their program and you got access to it on the 26th. This is one where I'm kicking myself in the shins. I may go return the police station <laughs> and use that uh, towards this. Who knows? But anyways, all right. First take. This looks so good. This is the main photo that we've already kind of seen. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, then, you know, I'm sorry but this is just amazing. I love the red staircase they got going up. I love the Daily Bugle. I love this, um, you know, the radio tower. All this looks amazing. So what we're gonna do though is we're gonna jump onto the photos that we haven't seen, because again, we've already kind of seen this if you've seen any of the leaked photos that have been everywhere. So let's jump into <clears throat> the box. Box, I don't love the 18 plus set boxes. It's like, I feel like the Ninjago sets look so much better, like the city gardens and the city uh, and the docks and everything, because they've got like the cool background and, and whatnot. I feel like the 18 plus boxes sometimes don't give them justice. Like they could have done a full fake city in the background and whatever, but it is what it is. So I don't love the box art. I mean, it does just showcase the set perfectly well. So don't get me wrong there. I think that looks fine. But let's go into, let's go into the next. All right, so one thing to not notate about this set is it is modular up and down. So like it's four floors, but you can take the floors off like a modular building, but you can also take the backs off. How freaking cool is that? So this is one of the coolest features I think to this entire set is it's no longer like a modular where, oh, I wanna like, like let's say I, I wanna get down to the lower levels. I gotta take it the roof. I gotta take the second level. I gotta take, you know what I mean? You gotta take off all the levels to get to it. This one literally pull off the back, pull off the back and you have access to it like a dollhouse style. That is so cool having both modular and Playhouse, that's a win-win for this set in my opinion. But you got the Daily Bugle. Oh, that's on the front. Oh, that's on the front. I thought it was on the back. <laughs> my bad. So you could pull the fronts off and have access to the front. That, either way, it's still like the play functionality of a dollhouse. That's really, really cool. Um, let's go to the next photo. Man, oh my gosh, I love the detail they did. Okay, some people were worried like, oh, you know, how much detail is gonna be in this? Like, look at the desks and the computers. Oh my gosh, and the elevator. Heck yeah, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna go through all the characters in just a minute. So, like, we'll do that, don't worry. Wow, I love the way they did the elevator. That looks so cool. I wonder if there's a mechanism that actually has an elevator or not. It may not be, but regardless, I love the way they've done the colors and stuff in this set. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The detail, I'm telling, look at all the newspaper stuff. This is so cool. And they got like the little TVs up above. All right, so here's one of the modular, th oh my gosh, this looks so good. And the huge jumbo screen, <laughs> yes. Oh man, I'm gonna have a hard time putting that sticker on, I'll tell you that much. Wow. I know, we're gonna go through all the characters, don't worry. Oh, that, okay, this is so cool. Are those new pieces or are those like track pieces that we've seen before, like those big, long, thin, I don't even know. This looks so good. 
oh, I love the, mmm. I'm loving this so much. And I'm telling you, that tower with like almost like the water tank, the radio tower, that looks, that looks awesome. It makes it just even that much more epic. Okay, so we got, you know, we got a couple mini figs. We're gonna just skip on through. So, oh my gosh, yes. Okay, you know what? All right, so we looked at a couple of these mini figs. All right, I know, we know some of their names, all right. Um, we're gonna get back to the mini figs, don't you worry. Like, look at the back of this. Look at that. That is epic. Okay, this is like a set you can put anywhere in your city, like smack dab in the middle, and it's gonna look great. All right, guys, one thing to notate on this is if like we zoom in really close, you're gonna see they've made it modular. So like you can have, you can hook it up to any building, which is super cool of them to do that because that way like if you want it to hook in, if you don't want it to hook in, but if you want to, you can. They have the little Technic spots that you can hook it into modular buildings. So that's pretty dang cool. And the one thing that's nice is there's gonna be a little alleyway between your buildings, like next to the, you know, the massive, uh, you know, skyscrapers. So that's really cool. They got the nice looking dumpsters in the back and the taxi. Oh, there's so much to cover on a set this big. This is just insane. Okay. Now, real quick, on the back, let's also look at the back real quick. One of the things I like that they did on the back is they made the little lip so you can have like a balcony where, as again, you can see a minifig hanging out on the balcony so it's not all just flush. You can actually have the little balcony. I really like that. I would probably add like a little tree or something. That's just my opinion. Um, get a little greenery up in there. Um, but if you look at the back, it just looks phenomenal. It, again, it, it, it's a 360 degree set. That's what I love about it. Some of the modulars aren't, this definitely is. So let's just keep going down with it. Let's take a look at the bugle sign. Looks awesome. They did a great job making that work. That's gonna look so good. Ah, oh, man, I gotta get this set. This looks so, so good. Oh man, look at these photos. Oh my gosh. The cool vending machine up in the corner. Look at the green tiles, what? I don't know why they chose green, but that's okay. Okay, now look at these photos, you ready? This really puts the set size into perspective, okay? Look at this dude when he's by the set. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, that is huge. It's gonna tower everything in my city though. Oh my gosh, this is like a can, wow. That is so cool. I can't even believe how big, ah, that's massive. Absolutely massive. Especially when you add the, the tower, like the radio tower again, it's just even bigger. That's insane. Like look at that piece, even just that piece right there. That's so nuts. Venom, yes. Miles Morales, yes. This is so cool. Like look at the, yeah, oh my, I know, I'm just like a kid in a candy shop. Sorry, I know I'm, not, I'm not giving a lot of uh, critical feedback at the moment, I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> oh man, this set looks like it would be so much fun. Okay, we're gonna go through the minifigs in one second. Let's do the 360 view. Look at this. Yes. Yes on every level. Oh my gosh, we gotta do that one more time. And you got the little newsstand in the front. Got that little newsstand and that entrance. Everything just looks so good. So good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've taken a look at pretty much the entire set. I know like I'm not going through it slower than a snail, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw up the photo of all the minifigs and I'm gonna go through all those bad dogs, all right? It was confirmed though that there were 25 minifigs in this set. I can't even believe that. That is a lot of minifigs. <laughs> that, that is a ton. We have got the full list is Firestar, Blade, Dr. Octopus, Spider-Man, J. Jonah Jameson, got Betty Brant, Venom, Miles Morales, Spider-Ham, <laughs> his headpiece looks awesome, Green Goblin, Gwen Stacy, Carnage Punisher, Peter Parker, Spider-Gwen, Black Cat, Robbie Robertson, Ben Urich, Mysterio, Daredevil, Sandman, Aunt May, Newspaper Worker, New York taxi driver, and we have got a receptionist. That is such a sick spread of minifigs. I mean, the fact that you only have a receptionist, taxi worker, and what was the other one? It was, uh, let me see, and a newspaper worker. Everyone else are actual characters. So you're gonna get 22 characters from the world 
of Spider-Man. That is so freaking sick. It's not like, oh, like in some of the Ninjago, like the big city ones where they throw in like eight civilians and you're like, who are all these people? You know what I'm saying? Literally 22 out of the 25 are characters from the world. You know what I mean? So this is gonna be super cool. I cannot wait for this set. Again, it's coming out next. What's today's date? Today is the... Ba, 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 ba. All right, so it's coming out next Wednesday if you're a VIP member. I'm telling you, this set, I believe, will sell out the first day. This is absolutely phenomenal. For 300 bucks, you're gonna get a city set that is a skyscraper with 25 minifigs, and it's beautifully done, 365 degrees that you can display the set. Lego did an amazing job, and now I may go return that PlayStation so I can get this and uh, cough up a hundred bucks. So, oh, that would be hard, but at the end of the day, this set looks better than the PlayStation, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, let me know down below. Are you guys excited? Um, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it this far, give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.